Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to become future leaders. Aubrey, this week we meet a Saratoga girl who was a three-sports star until a cancerous tumor threatened to take more from her than just sports. Velstron loves sports, loves the competition, loves her teammates. But two years ago, her sports life was taken away on one fateful day. I felt a, a, like a mass behind my, my left ear, and I thought it was normal. I kind of thought everyone had it. But then I told my parents about it, and we went to the doctors, and they said they weren't quite sure what it was, but maybe I should get further testing. After a biopsy, Belle was taken to surgery. What was supposed to be a two-hour procedure turned into an eight-hour surgery to remove a cancerous tumor which had spread to Belle's face. As I'm sure you can understand, we were out of our minds. And then when the doctor came out and said it was cancerous, I thought, how are we going to go on without her? The uh, delicate nature of the operation includes uh, a very important nerve, a peripheral nerve that runs through the salivary glands, the facial nerve. It uh, controls um, all the muscles of facial expression on that side. I was really thankful though because my surgeon, he was great and he got to get most of that out and, and I still have the feeling in my face today. It took a little while to get it back to be able to smile, but, but now, now I'm back. Two weeks following the surgery, Belle went through more tests to see if the cancer was anywhere else in her body. No new cancer was discovered, but the cancer in Belle's face would cause all sorts of problems. They actually had to open up more of my face than they thought they had to. They had to cut open here and, and kind of flip over my, my skin. So I think it was a lot more extensive than they thought, but through like precision and of course a lot more time, they got to get most of it out. The recovery was tough for a 15-year-old girl who had limited feeling in the side of her face. She couldn't smile and her hearing was affected. Eventually, it would all come back. She's not a vain girl. She That is not important to her. But as a mom, looking at what you, you know, see as your little perfect creature, thinking she's going to have this droopy face, but at least she's alive. So grateful for that. So I wanted her to physically feel well, but more importantly, mentally feel well. But mentally, Belle was struggling. She would never be able to play basketball or lacrosse again, and the rehab from surgery was taking time. One day, her volleyball coach called and asked her to come out and help with the team. So then I came back during our off season, and I helped just pass balls and shag balls and and do what I could and then slowly I started to get back into the swing of things and once I was cleared to start running I did some conditioning while I was there and slowly I just eased back into it and it was it was so great and because she had been an athlete when her coach said come and come as you are it doesn't matter uh, just to practices and help out that was the turning point back on the court Bell and the Falcons made it to the second round of CCS Bell's sports life was back. In two years, Bell went from not knowing if she would live to working toward a full recovery and enjoying the game and her teammates once again. Ironically, the lesson for Bell was paying more attention to what other people go through every day. Prior to this, I wasn't quite focused, I think, enough on my peers and, and all the struggles they went through. But after after going through this, and I started to notice other people and I started to ask them how they are and actually take an active role in trying to help out in their lives and I think I think that's the greatest thing in like learning empathy for others and learning to take a proactive interest in their life and help out. So Bill will head off to college next year. She's got two schools that she's deciding between Cal Poly and UC Davis and says that she might just major in medicine. Yeah, the doctors did an amazing job. She looks beautiful. Yeah, incredibly sophisticated surgery and they were right on point. Yeah. All right. Hi, John Failer out of Saratoga and Santa Clara. I am very proud to support Northern California Bay Area High School Sports.